Hello and welcome to Tech 18. Hope you have all heard about the build announcement from Microsoft this year, 2023, which is the biggest announcement so far in the Microsoft is Microsoft Fabric. Let's have a look into that, what it is actually. Before going into that in detail, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end unified analytics platform bringing together all the data analytics tools that organizations need. So basically they are bringing every tool which you need into one single unified platform. So under the fabric, we can get data factory, Synapse data engineering, Synapse data warehouse, Synapse data science, real time streaming data, analytics, and also the power of power BI. But not only that, so these are the tools which you can access using an unified experience like what we have we are using right now from power bi the same user experience is going to be for all the other tools for data factory for data engineering for data science data warehouse and real time analytics and you might also see here data activator which i'm which i'm going to talk about that later part of this video so but before to that here whatever the data which we are going to use we are going to store into one single unified platform which is a kind of one leg one drive for data which we used to have from microsoft to store all our files similarly they have added a new functionality about one leg for data so we can keep all our data into one single leg and from there we can access to any other tools here and all of these things are governed by microsoft purview so now let's try how we can enable this in our tenant. I'm into my Power BI user interface here. And as I open up here, I can see on the left here, there are menus also change here. And also on my regular works experience, the menu icons, everything has changed. And also the user interface also got changed here. So we can talk about or discuss about these things in the later part in future videos as well. So here we can also see one leg data hub here. Uh, so we need to explore what it actually has to do with that and also you experience the color and theme everything has changed to teal color so that's the way of microsoft fabric so now first of all being an admin you had to go to settings here and also this also got changed and then you need to go to admin portal so once you go on to this one there are two new options here and the first option what we have here microsoft fabric there are new updated tenant settings expand to review the changes okay so by default this is disabled and when i click on here it gives me a message here microsoft has released the fabric public preview is an off state by default if you don't make changes to these settings microsoft will change the state to on after july 1st if you decide to opt out before july fabric preview will remain off until you turn it on so you need to remove this check here because if you want to accept this after july then you take this option but if you want to enable it now just take out these options and then you need to enable this and you can specify here you want to enable to entire organizations or to a specific group and then click on apply here so by default check option here delegate settings to other admins capacity admins can enable or disable so if you have a power bi premium license and premium capacities with you if you have a single then it doesn't matter but if you have a multiple capacity license then you can assign this role and so capacity admin so that they can also go and enable the features and which capacity they want to assign this new fabric so if i go here in the capacity settings right now i am using a power bi pro so it is not uh, showing me here and is also giving me new option here fabric capacity so right now I don't have any capacity purchase here. As of now, there is no predefined license what we have. If you have a Power BI premium license, then it will activate the fabric. But from July on, from July, but from June onwards, they are going to release a new fabric license, which includes all the capabilities of Data Factory, Synapse, 
per view power bi everything all into one single license so it is easy for us to manage everything so this is how you can enable the settings and now it is applied here got it and capacity also got admit so the next thing being a pro license what i still need to do is i can just go here on my preview so we can give an option here as a start trial even though i have a pro license it is still asking me for the start trial so then only i can able to start the trial of this 60 days power bi fabric free trial so if i click on start trial here it's giving me message here upgrade to your free microsoft fabric preview trial to use this feature upgrade to your free microsoft trial fabric capacity when you upgrade you will have access to all the fabric enhanced features including paginated report deployment pipelines and new data storage capabilities including warehouse and lake house so if i click on learn more it's going to open up a new page where it gives me all about what it will happen if i enable this preview so for the existing power bi users if you are an existing power bi user you can skip this start to fabric who are the new to power bi for public preview the fabric preview trial requires a power bi license navigate to app.fabric.microsoft.com to sign up for a power bi free license yeah you can also get a free 60 days microsoft pro license and once you got you can enable this fabric as well so there is no need if you need need a license you can also activate this without a license but you just need an of school or a work account to do that but still if you want to create a dummy account that also is possible a kind of developer account which i am using right now which is backed by microsoft here i have made a separate video on that how you can buy this kind of uh, 25 free license uh, you can just check and watch that video as well and that's it if you click on the start trial it's going to upgrade you that so i'm clicking on the start trial now so it is asking me to give me the name and country region and the phone number so i will add up those information here it is mandatory here so i am from india and i will add the phone number here and i need to enable this option which is personalized information and extend my free trial so once i click on that i got a message successfully upgraded to a free microsoft fabric preview trial We have upgraded your workspace to a free fabric trial capacity. You can create and work with any item types available in this workspace now. Got it. So once I click on got it, it is actually refreshing the browser, and now it is loading the icon of fabric instead of Power BI. Even though it is Power BI, but it's now fabric. So on the top left, I got the name here as Microsoft Fabric, and at the bottom, I got this option here. Power BI. If I click on here, I got the, all the other options what we have: Power BI, Data Factory, Data Engineering, Data Science, Data Warehouse, and Data Analytics. So one thing we miss here, based on our presentation, is Data Activator. So it is still in preview, so it is not showing up here. Maybe they will going to add up in future. So what it actually does is basically it act as a bridge between your data and your information here. So I can just show you here as an example. which is data activator no code trigger to connect your data to actions so if your data coming from kql event hub power bi data set or sql data warehouse and you can trigger this options you can set up the rules and triggers so that you can get an alert notification on the teams or email alert or any kind of sms notification as well you can do with that so this is still in preview you can also go with that once it is enabled for us So cool. So we can just go here to the workspace, and then if I click on this production workspace, everything is going to be the same now. And if I click on new here, I will get the option to create all the other thing here. I can make use of the same unified interface for everything. If I click on, for example, go here, and if I click on data engineering, for example, on the top it just changes to synapse data engineering, and I have all of these feature here. What I want to use here. and now the good part is if you notice i got it just did here so let me go back here if i go back to power bi on the top it changed to power bi home and here i have the workspace if i click on the workspace now and then if i click here i am able to see only the things which is related to power bi and now if i go to data engineering 
and I can see the workspace also is still available here and here if I click on the workspace the same workspace and I can see all the data set report which is for the Power BI and now if I click on new it is actually giving me the data engineering features what I need to open up from here that's really amazing which is basically I can have one single workspace and I can have all of the, my data related things what I want to do here if I want to build a pipeline if I want to build a SQL warehouse if I want to build a report everything into one single unified workspace it is really an amazing thing to work here and now here comes a picture of the domain so even though we have an option here in admin portal if I go back to domain here and organize your tenant with domain so domains help team in your organizations find data they need and make governing your tenant easier create your domain like finance team or HR and I send relevant workspaces to them that's a really amazing thing right so if I click on create domain here for example I can give it a name here choose a domain name or organization unit so I want to create a kind of sales for example and I want to give a description and then click on apply so I can also add in domain image here if I want to and domain admin who are the users here and domain contributors so entire organization can access that but if you want to specify to a specific group of people then you can just restrict that this is really an amazing thing if you are specifically working for a finance and HR related things so workspace and the last option what we have workspace in this domain so what are the workspaces which you have if I want to assign they can assign it from here or I can go to the workspace so let's try it from here so assign a workspace by name by admin or by capacity so if I click here I can just type for the workspace so if I click on sales I got now here uh, which is maybe sales okay so by admin it is not coming up here so let's go back to the workspace here and maybe because I'm still in preview so it will take something here I can go to setting here workspace setting and I also got the new experience here oh right now this is actually in Synapse Data Engineering um, and here we have an option here as well so domain preview none or sale so right now what we have created the domain is a sale so I am selecting on the sales here and that's it we can assign the workspace to the domain here and there are other plenty of options here don't worry we are going to explore that as well in our future videos so stay tuned for the latest updates from Microsoft Fabric into my channel uh, if you really want to know about that. But before do that, before we leave here, if you want to learn more about the Microsoft Fabric, then you can just go to this one. I'm also going to give the link of this uh, website here on my video the description below. So you can get started with this one and also you can use the end-to-end -end tutorial for Microsoft Fabric. But if you want to learn from me, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest update whenever I launch a new video on this one. Alright, so this is kind of first look in Microsoft Purview. We have a 60 days trial now and if you want to enable it right now, you can also do that. I'm going to update the videos here frequently so that we can practice it together. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and also share this video with others. Thank you. See you in the next video.